Shredder won't be dining on turtle soup. This year, hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're looking forward to Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, and you're new to the channel, click on that subscribe button. If you like this video, shell shock the like one. Let's talk Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This movie is one of my top five most anticipated movies of the year, and it's releasing in under one month already. So soon produced by Seth Rogen and, and directed by Jeff Rowe, who had an interview with Slash Film and told Slash Film Shredder, the main antagonist of the Ninja Turtles, basically the main antagonist from the movies and the animated series, and of course the character who was killed off for his first appearance in Ninja Turtle Comics, uh, will not be appearing in Mutant Mayhem. That is why obviously you have not seen any promotional material of the Shredder or a voice actor attached to the Shredder. That's not to say that Shredder won't show up or there will not even be a tease to the Shredder towards the end of the film. There was a draft of the script, several drafts of the script where Shredder was in it. He was in it quite a while, but they decided ultimately that Superfly was their antagonist. He went on to say that this, this movie was about teenagers kind of becoming themselves and mutants and had to deal with somebody who was on the same type of trajectory as themselves, another mutation, another mutant creature, and that's how they got Superfly voiced by Ice Cube put in there. I'm a big Shredder guy. I would love to see Shredder again. I do like what he's saying. He does say that, you know, this gives them an opportunity now to Dark Knight the Shredder, and that is bring the Shredder into the second one, because in the Dark Knight, obviously, the Joker is Batman's major main foil, and he did not appear in Batman Begins, but he appears in the next one, so that's what he's saying here. Uh, I'm okay with this information if the movie's good. If the movie's good and it works, you don't need Shredder, right? You need a good story. And if Shredder's not the one that gives you a good story, then so be it. Because I kind of enjoyed the uh, Michael Bay movies, but in that first movie, they botched the Shredder a big time. Shredder and Splinter need to have a past, a history, for their relationship to work together. And in that movie, they kind of forgot about that and moved on from it. And uh, it did, it, in my opinion, did not work. Um, but I still found the, the movie and the sequel very, very enjoying. What do you guys think? Are you okay with no Shredder in Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem? Are you going to go see this movie in August? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.